The World of NFTs Donald Trump, a former US president, has released a set of digital trading cards featuring him as various characters, such as a superhero, astronaut, and NASCAR racer. As a non-fungible token NFT, the cards are being provided as a way to own the original digital image. Non-fungible tokens NFTs, are cryptographic assets on a blockchain that can be distinguished from one another by their distinctive identifying codes and metadata. They cannot be bought or exchanged for equivalent amounts like cryptocurrencies can. This contrasts with fungible tokens, like cryptocurrencies, which are interchangeable and can thus be used as a medium for business transactions. Knowledge of Non-Fungible Tokens NFTs. The ERC-721 standard was the precursor to NFTs. The ERC-721 Smart Contract Standard created by some of the same individuals who created the ERC-20 smart contract, outlines the minimal interface, ownership information, security, and metadata needed for the trading and distribution of gaming tokens. The ERC-1155 standard expands on the idea by batching many non-fungible token types into a single contract and lowering the transaction and storage costs necessary for NFTs. NFTs have a variety of potential applications. For instance, they are the perfect means of digitally representing tangible things like real estate and art. NFTs, which are based on blockchains, can also be used for identity management, or to cut out middlemen and link artists with audiences. NFTs can eliminate middlemen, streamline transactions, and open up new markets. The market for NFTs today is largely driven by collectibles like digital art, sports cards, and rarities. NBA Top Shot, a place to gather non-fungible tokenized NBA moments, in digital card form, is arguably the most touted area. These cards have sold for millions of dollars in some cases. Just setting up my TWTTR, said Twitter's TWTR, Jack Dorsey in the first tweet ever. He recently shared a link to a tokenized version of the tweet. The first tweet ever sold for more than $2.9 million in NFT form. How NFTs operate The process of minting, which produces NFTs, involves publishing the NFTs data on a blockchain. In general, the minting procedure comprises the creation of a new block, validation of the NFTs data by a validator, and recording of the data. Smart contracts are frequently incorporated as part of the minting process to govern ownership and transferability of the NFT. As tokens are created, a special identification number that is connected to a single blockchain address is given to each one. Each token has an owner and the owner's information, i.e. The address where the token is physically located is made public. Each of the general admission tickets for a music festival has a distinctive identifier and can be identified from the other tickets, even if 5,000 NFTs of the same item are produced. Fungibility and Blockchain From a financial standpoint, cryptocurrencies are typically fungible, similar to actual money, which means they may be traded or exchanged for one another. For instance, on a particular exchange, the value of one Bitcoin is always equal to the value of another Bitcoin, just as the implicit exchange value of a dollar bill in US currency is equal to one dollar. Because of their fungibility, cryptocurrencies are a good choice for a safe medium of exchange in the digital economy. However, not every token or coin of a specific cryptocurrency is the same due to blockchain's capacity to preserve and publicly disclose transaction history. People might pay more to possess a Bitcoin that Elon Musk ever owned or a coin that has never been traded before. For instance, collectors are willing to spend significantly more for something special, much to how a 1944 US steel wheat cent is only worth one cent in today's market. To prevent one non-fungible token from being equal to another, NFTs change the crypto paradigm by making each token distinct and unreplaceable. Because each token has a distinct, 
non-transferable identity that allows it to be distinguished from other tokens. They are digital representations of assets and have been compared to digital passports. They are also extendable, allowing you to create a third different NFT by mating two of them. NFTs, like Bitcoin, also include ownership information allowing straightforward token holder identification and transfer. In NFTs, owners can additionally include additional metadata or asset related features. Tokens that resemble coffee beans, for instance, can be categorized as fair trade. Alternatively, artists might add their signature to the metadata of their digitally created works. Illustrative NFTs The usage of CryptoKitties for NFTs is arguably the most well-known. CryptoKitties, which were introduced in November 2017, are digital representations of cats with distinctive identifications on the Ethereum blockchain. Each cat is special and is valued in Ether. They procreate among one another, giving birth to new children with distinct traits and values from their parents. CryptoKitties quickly gained a fan base that spent $20 million worth of Ether to buy, feed, and care for them within a few short weeks of their inception. Some fans even invested upwards of $100,000 in the project. The Board Ape Yacht Club has recently drawn controversy due to its expensive membership fees, celebrity clientele, and high-profile NFT thefts. Although the use cases for CryptoKitties and the Board Ape Yacht Club may seem insignificant, some have more significant business ramifications. NFTs, for instance, have been used in both real estate and private equity transactions. The possibility to provide escrow for various NFTs from artwork to real estate into a single financial transaction is one of the ramifications of permitting numerous types of tokens in a contract. What makes NFTs important? Development of the relatively straightforward idea of cryptocurrencies is non-fungible tokens. For many asset categories, such as real estate, lending contracts, and artwork, modern finance systems include complex trading and financing systems. NFTs advance the reinvention of this infrastructure by enabling digital representations of physical assets. To be clear, neither the concept of using unique identification, nor the idea of digital representations of real goods is new. However, these ideas become a powerful force for change when joined, with the advantages of a tamper-proof blockchain of smart contracts. Market efficiency is arguably the most evident advantage of NFTs. A physical asset being transformed into a digital one simplifies procedures and gets rid of middlemen. NFTs that represent physical or digital artwork on a blockchain do away with the necessity for agents, allowing artists to interact with their audiences directly. Additionally, they can enhance corporate procedures. For instance, an NFT for a wine bottle will make it simpler for various supply chain participants to communicate with it and assist in tracking its creation, provenance, and sale throughout the entire process. One of its clients, consulting company Ernst & Amp, Young has already created such a solution. Non-fungible tokens are also great for managing identities. Consider the situation where a physical passport is required at each point of entry and exit. It is feasible to simplify the entry and exit procedures for jurisdictions by transforming individual passports into NFTs, each with its special distinguishing qualities. NFTs can also be used for identity management in the digital sphere, expanding upon this use case. NFTs in the real world and the internet. Through the fractionalization of tangible assets like real estate, NFTs can also democratize investing. A digital real estate asset can be divided between numerous owners far more easily than a physical one. This ethic of tokenization need not be limited to real estate. It can also apply to other assets, such as works of art. So a painting doesn't necessarily need to have just one owner. The digital version's numerous owners, each in charge of a portion of the painting, are possible. Such agreements might raise its value and revenue. The development of new markets and investment avenues is the most intriguing prospect for NFTs. 
Imagine a plot of land that has been divided up into several sections, each with its unique features and forms of property. One of the divisions might be close to a beach, another might be in a complex, with entertainment options, and a third might be a neighborhood. Each piece of land is distinct, priced differently, and represented by an NFT depending on its features. By adding pertinent metadata to each NFT, the complicated and bureaucratic process of real estate trading can be made simpler. Such a notion is already in use by Decentraland, a virtual reality platform running on the Ethereum blockchain. The idea of tokenized parcels of land, varying in value and location, could be implemented in the real world as NFTs advance and become more integrated into the financial system. Do you feel this video helpful for you? Post your feedback in our comments section below, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos.